All right, you guys. I don't. Whatever. The boxes explain themselves. There's nothing to say here. And yes, there are six. Six boxes. So some of these have been saved for a while until I had like quite a few. I want to see what I got, which is kind of fun because I forgot. If you guys are a FabFitFun shopper, you know, things, you throw things in your cart, then you see your total and you're like, okay, like we need to go back and get rid of some stuff. So then you put stuff back and then maybe you put something back in and so you kind of forget like, what did I end up keeping? What did I throw? Like, what did I throw back? Like, you forget. And then with the stuff been sitting here several weeks, then you really, really forget on what you picked up. So this is going to be like a lot of fun for me too, because I don't know what's in them. I have my coffee. I have my water. I'm like caffeinated and hydrated. So you don't need to worry. I know you guys are wondering. Like, is she hydrated? Does she have her coffee? Yes, I do. Thank you so much. So some of these are from uh, the recent sales that they just had and some of them are from before. So if you guys are like an avid, like you know FabFitFun, you're going to be like, girl, they didn't just have that in a sale. Is this too close? Too far? Should I bring it closer? Let's see what this is. The glow in the dark. 10 foot long. It's an iPhone charger. I don't know if that's glowing in the dark. You have to charge it, right? Let's charge it with the light. Hold on. Yeah, she's glowing. Wow, my hair is like crazy. Mm. Gotta get my hair done. It's kind of like out of control. My bangs are too long. My hair is getting dark. Gotta get back in there. I love that the, um, the, the cable part, it's like a little bit thicker and stronger and it almost feels like it's wrapped in like this leather. Which is kind of nice, like if you have cats, you know what I'm talking about. Even some dogs, I guess, do that. My dog doesn't chew stuff, but this is like a really nice, nice cord. Even if I end up not keeping that and I give it like as a Christmas gift. Ew, did I just say that? Christmas gift. It's too soon to talk about that stuff. Let's open another one. One of these boxes mistakes were made. This is not that box. Okay. Three things in this one. Oh, sugar. <laughs> I think I do have a sunglass problem. In all fairness, I love sharing my sunglasses. Like I give them away to people. Like my daughter was just home. She lives in Colorado. She came to Minnesota, you know, for 4th of July. And then she was on her way to Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin um, for Rockfest. So I was like, girl, you need some sunglasses? I'll hook you up. Wh which one do you want? Like here, pick one, right? So I love to share. And then they had these and I love aviators. And one thing I don't like about aviators and I've said this before is the nose part, putting them on top of your head, they get snarled up. Nanette Lepore, I wanna say I have some of her purses. Sometimes I go on an adventure, like I put them on and I, I'm instantly like someone else. And I feel it like Sometimes when I put aviators on, I turn into like, I'm a cop. I've told you guys this before, I'm like a toddler. Here we go. Right? I don't... They feel like heavy duty, like they're nice, they're not flimsy at all. I have some aviators that are like just going like this, you hear them kind of like clinking around because they're just so loose and like junky. These are a nice sturdy frame. So it's like, it's almost like a, a, hy a hybrid aviator. I'm, a, I'm going there again. I'm on the fence on weather. I like the shading of the, the lens. It's not like this black lens. I don't know, what do you guys think? Yes or no on the Nanette Lepore sunglasses because we got more sunglasses to try on. So I'm trusting you guys on what you think. Fabfit Fun lately has been having Coach. It's like their jewelry and I've been picking it up if the price is right. Um, the price was right on this one. These were originally $68. Um, 
they cute? They got some like rhinestones. Rhinestones aren't like um like white. They are kind of like a blush to it, like a rose gold. And then with the C's hanging down, I just thought those were adorable. Vanity Planet. They're like those little, they're suction cups for like cupping and I think they work best. Um, I think you gotta have like oil on your face, like a nice facial oil, cause you create that suction and then you can glide it. I think, I need to look it up on how to, how to use these properly, but yeah, you have two big ones and then two small ones. So I thought I'd try those out and give them a whirl. See how they go. Anyway, oh, okay, so this box is where mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. So I got some sunglasses in here. I was actually gonna only pick up one pair. Maybe two. But I noticed they had a lot of these um, cool sunglasses, okay? And they're kind of like, like a cat eye one. And I was thinking about picking up some and there was one of you guys out there made a comment on one of my videos where I was trying sunglasses on and she said, I think cat eye sunglasses would be perfect. And I'm like, I was just, literally I was just thinking about maybe I should try that shape. And the fact that I had someone backing me up on what I was thinking, I'm like, mm, I'm gonna get some. And then FabFitFun had some and it was like, everything like was lining up on the universe. It was perfect. So it was like, I had to pick them up. But again, I only wanted like one, maybe two, because again, I don't know if that style is, do I, am I gonna like it? They had like every color out there. Like they had tons of them. So I was just going through the sale, grabbing it, throwing it in the cart, throwing it in the cart, throwing it in the cart. And um, I think I had like eight or 10 of them in there. Okay, let's narrow it down. So I narrowed it down to like six the next day and I'm like okay we got to narrow this down even more I still have a few more days of the sale I know I want it one of these four let me just think about it and I'll go back maybe I'll ask my daughter my one that you know is home from college over the summer I'll ask her like what do you think would look you know what color should I go with and then I forgot yeah I forgot I forgot to go back so now I have four pairs of sunglasses so that's why I'm saying it could have been worse. Like I could have had all 10 in here, but I don't. It's just four, but I'm gonna show you what I got. Now that I'm looking, it's actually not that bad. So I got one pair that's like really big, like oversized sunglasses and then three cat eye ones. The brand is Betsy Johnson for the cat eye ones, okay? Um, so I'll try all three on. I do expect audience participation. I need your opinion on should I keep all three? Well, and then we've, we've got the real big ones, but we'll get to that. Um, should I keep all three? Like you guys are not gonna hurt my feelings, okay? <laughs> Especially with all you people that have made rude comments on my channel. Like honestly, it just bounces right off of me because I just know it's like a reflection. Like I'm realizing that like as I get older and when, like when people are like rude and like mean, I just know it's just a reflection of like their their life, their struggles, their depression, their insecurities, their, you know, their struggles that they're just um, throwing onto you. Maybe it's, they just want you to hurt like they hurt. And sometimes it makes me a little sad because I know they're hurting. You know what I mean? Like, so you wanna go ahead and make a mean comment if it makes you feel better, that's all right. Go ahead, go right ahead, make your mean comment. It's honestly, they're just trying to make you feel bad so they can feel better because they're not feeling that great. Anyway, that's my little soapbox moment. Back to you. Here we got a black pair. It's not just a regular old black pair, okay? There's something special about this black pair. It's got rhinestones around the edges. Hopefully it's not focusing on me. It, my camera focuses on my eyes, so. You see how there's like rhinestones? See? And then it's even like down there, but not obviously like, thank you. 
for not putting them right here where you're gonna have like indentations of rhinestones. So if you guys think that these are awful, just let me know um, and then I'll just throw them in my giveaway and you guys can have them. After I, I'll sanitize them before I give them to you guys. So. Okay, here we go. Maybe I should take, should I take some of the stickers off? These are kind of cute though. <laughs> Um, if I, you guys, like, I feel like it's kind of hard to see it with that stuff. I wonder if I can just tuck this in like this. Here, let's cover up that one. So then we just have, like, this little sticker. But what do you guys think? <laughs> so there's that one. White. White. But it's like a marbly white. It kind of, it honestly, it reminds me of like a marble white. Okay, now doesn't it seem like these are a little bit smaller? Were the black ones, yeah, the black ones are a little bit bigger. They are, even like comparing them up to it, these ones are a little bit smaller. So there's the white. I feel like these would be good for like the beach or just depends on like if I'm wearing like a white outfit. So there's the white ones. It's like really bright in here. Like I've got my studio lights. So it's like when I put the sunglasses on, I'm putting sunglasses on. Last ones with the Betsy Johnson and then we'll get into the other one. <laughs> I know I'm, so, I'm a huge hand talker. Okay, you guys just got to deal with it. The pink ones are just like the white ones. They're smaller than the black. Same, the white and the pink are the same size. But these ones are just like it where it's the pink marble. They match my nails because my nails are pink. Right? Or are they too small for my face? Like is my face like just too chubby for... Like would it work better for like a smaller frame face? Maybe my face is too big for the white and the pink, maybe? Because they are like a little bit smaller so it might work on like a smaller frame of a face. So let me know what you guys think of that. Honestly, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Like seriously, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. The item isn't for sale anymore, I believe. So it's not showing me what um, retail it is. So if you guys know what they are retail, let me know that too. But I always get like black sunglasses, so I thought I would be fun and get like a color. But I didn't realize that they were just a little bit smaller than the black ones because, I mean, maybe it said it in the fine print. I didn't pay attention. Anyway, so then these, oh, these ones have a price tag. These are originally $75. So these ones are black. We got some like texturing, so it's like indented where those lines are. These are kind of neat because they have some like riveting right here, 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 and then there. Just one like one little like rivet. Is Vince Camuto? C-A-M-U-T-O? I don't know a lot of those designers because I can't afford it. Okay. See, like, these are, like, my standard. I used to wear, like, these types of sunglasses all the time. Very big, oversized. And I feel like those are coming back. Like, I'm noticing, like, girls with, like, big old sunglasses on. And it's like, oh. And if anything, when you, if you've got, like, a chubbier face, like, I feel like my face is a little bit more chubby. Um, I'm, I'm thinning out a little bit, though, because I've been exercising. I've been jumping on my exercise bike, like, twice a day. So I'm hopefully and this is going down a little bit. I'm trying guys, okay, I'm trying. And if anything, it's just healthy for you to get moving. I'm not like putting too much pressure on myself, but anyway, um, if anything, like if you got a fuller face and you put a bigger sunglasses on, depending on your shape and where the fatness is, either it'll make your face like look really fat or it just kind of thins your face out because the sunglasses are so big. Your opinion matters. So I will tuck these over. I keep all the packaging in case you guys say, um, girl, don't you keep those cat eyes because they look ridiculous on you. Let me know and then you guys can have them. You guys can have them. Next box. Oh, they're two little organizers. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. 
feel like my battery is going to die. I might have to change my battery. Anyway, so it's Sorbus. Nice little size, not too shallow, not too deep. This is actually a great size. I'm going to stick them in the spare bedroom where I have all my other acrylic organizers. So when I go and I clean a closet or I organize a drawer, then I'm, I go right to that spare bedroom and I've got all these acrylic organizers everywhere. I have wooden and wicker also. Like, let's not get our panties in a bunch about acrylic. I know some people hate plastic, but I'm not one of those people. Okay, I got two more big boxes to open, but my battery is about to die, so I'm going to switch my batteries really quick. You guys won't even really know. I mean, my background might change a little bit, like I might be more zoomed in or back out. I don't know. I'll try and get it to where it was, but it'll probably be different. And can't okay, there. Now we're back, but is my background different? I feel like it was shifted a little bit. <sighs> my tile enough? There. Maybe hey, you guys like itch when you're wearing makeup. Like every once in a while I get like a little, just itches like right there. I'm gonna keep the box over here because it's a little bit bigger. <gasps> oh, you know what I just thought? I have my hair appointment tomorrow. I have to go to the town where um, there's everything. There's a Target. There's a Sam's Club. I love Sam's Club. I'm going to go on the Sam's Club and buy a bunch of stuff I don't need. Ulta. I don't need to go on Ulta. I get all my stuff on online at Ulta, although there is a foundation I want to get. I need to be in the store and put it on. And then even like when you try a foundation, you should put it on, step outside and look at it, and then even let it like dry because it can like oxidize and like change a little bit like once it dries. Let it dry, step outside, take a look at it. You know, see, like swatch a few, like, like right there, whatever, right? What am I, oh, look at me, I'm talking like I'm a makeup professional. I'm not, <laughs> far from it. I have this and I wanted another one. It's so sweet, I love this basket. It's the sweetest little basket. They had it again, so I snatched it up. I love this. It's like a, it's like the perfect like little catch-all tray, but like maybe like a, like a candle, little whatever, some like a little plant, right? So then one time FabFitFun, they had a bunch of, uh-oh, something's broken. They had a bunch of um, Sorbus organizer and I bought like basically one of everything that they had of Sorbus. And once I opened this one, this one from Sorbus, you guys, if you watch all my FabFitFun videos, you might remember me opening this. I was shocked on how big and how nice it is. Honestly, like looking at it in the picture at, at FabFitFun, I thought it was just going to be like a small little thing that you put a couple of pencils in. That's what I thought it was going to be because they call it a divided desk organizer. So when I hear that, I'm thinking, oh, in the shape of it, the, by the picture, it just, I'm just picturing like pencils in it. But when it came, I was like, hello, that would hold makeup brushes. And this thing is so nice where I thought my daughter, she's an artist, um, like, make uh, for her paintbrushes too this thing is so nice and it was only i want to say off the top of my head it was nine dollars i don't know what it is originally i feel like it's totally worth the nine dollars so i did grab two more i actually had three in my cart but i was like okay that's overkill like i don't need three i'm kind of wishing i would have got three more but i've got the one and then now i have these two so i'm gonna keep one of these so then I'll have two and I think one of them I'm going to offer to her to see if she wants it for her makeup her makeup but her paint brushes um because she doesn't have a makeup brush problem like I do she has more of a paint brush problem I wouldn't even call it a problem it's an appropriate amount of brushes but she's almost done this is her last year at college okay a few more things in here <laughs> and one thing is already broken <laughs> Which doesn't usually happen with FabFitFun. I don't normally have problems with them. Um, and I hate that my chair is so creaky. The 
it's like totally out of the packaging and broken. But the Ula Henriksen, the Dutopia 20% Acid Night Treatment, I've been using it. I love it. And then once I saw that they had it again, because Ula Henriksen, that, that's a that's a hefty price tag, but you get high quality, um, high quality skincare. Oh, it, when I find it like at Ipsy, Boxy, Charm, Fab, Fit, Fun, and it's discounted, I snatch it up because I know I'm getting a good product and I can sample more of his things. Dutopia 20% Acid Night Cream. So I don't use this every night because when I put this on my face after I cleanse and tone and then I put this on and then I put a moisturizer on on top of this, um, my my skin does, um, it tingles just a little bit where you like you feel like it's working. Whatever it's doing, it's doing it. So directions, it says at night, apply evenly to face and neck. If irritation occurs, reduce the frequency of application or discontinue if it persists. But then there's like some alerts on it. So make sure you're reading your package. But so I only use it maybe like two to three times a week and I use it in the at nighttime. Hopefully it's not broken. It just it just popped off. It kind of looks a little broken. If anything, like once I'm done using my other one, maybe I could just pour this into that bottle if this little pump is broken or just take the take the pump off my old one my empty one and then put it on this one i mean that'd be an easier way to solving it um pixie clarity tonic it's a clarifying toner i'm a toner person i love and i love pixie so olaplex this is what i use on my this is my purple shampoo that i use i have other purple shampoos i always go back to this the purple shampoo is to help my blonde from going brassy to kind of keep it blonde so wouldn't it work better if all the oils and this stuff were off so i don't know if i'm right or wrong but that's what i do i wash my hair i do a, a a, rinse, a wash and then I do another wash with my purple shampoo and I just let it sit on there for a few minutes before I rinse off and condition. So anyway what I'm saying is this is normally like 30 bucks maybe 32 bucks about $30 for one of these and I use it all the time. Um, I was so excited when I saw it on FabFitFun. I, I grabbed three but then I was like all right calm down just take two. I use it so um $14 I think they had it on sale for so like half more than half off like hi I'll do that don't be clicking off you guys we still have another box right don't you feel like this is kind of like a good variety of a whole bunch of stuff right I feel like I can't do an unboxing without having some type of an acrylic organizer but these are hopefully going to go in these drawers. I have an acrylic organizer problem amongst many problems I love to collect. It's a laundry hamper. And it's lined. Is it going to stay up by itself? Little rope handles. Right? It's got a hard bottom. Okay, I got two more things and they're both coach. Ooh, a bracelet. And it's a slider bracelet. I love those because I really struggle with having long nails and arthritis. I'm trying to get those little clasps, you know, like it's kind of a struggle. So when you have a slider bracelet, I love that. I feel like I can put it on myself. I don't have to ask people for help. Could you put this on me, please? Little tiny rhinestones, all different colors. The the coach, the word, it's got just a slight little curve to it. So when it's on your wrist, like it, you know, it it goes with the shape of your wrist. I like my bracelets a little bit bigger. I don't like to have them super tight. I like to have them like hang down on my hand a little bit. So I love a loose bracelet. I don't like ones that are really tight. So yeah, isn't that cute? It's just so delicate. You know, like it catches the light with all the little rhinestones. And then I got some hoops. These are heavy duty, wow. Originally $118 for these. You don't have to deal with a back. And you got a little rhinestone right there in the O. 
You just have to make sure you're putting them on the right ear so then the rhinestones are facing outwards. See, there is going to be a left and a right on these, but these are cute. They're, they're nice quality. They're a little bit heavier than like these. These are kind of like, these are Timu. They're very light. They're very, they feel cheap, but you touch these and you know that these are nice quality and I'm really excited I got them because I love hoops anyway. So when I saw that, I was like, well, yeah, we're getting those. Um, I wanna end it with, I wanna mention this in a few of my recent videos that my mother has now has, has an Etsy account. So if you guys already heard me give this little speech, you can go ahead and click off and end the video here. But those that haven't, I please just listen to me for a second. Um, my mother has opened an Etsy account. Um, I'm so proud of her. She's been working really, really hard and making beady jewelry. Um, like something similar to this. Um, she's got very affordable. She's made several that are like the stretchy ones. Some that have clasps. She makes lanyards and she's going to do earrings and necklaces. Um, but you guys go check her out. And if you don't buy anything, that's fine. But if you could just give her a follow or whatever they call it over on Etsy, whether you follow them or you admire them or whatever, you got to click heart on their page. I'll put down below right here on what her um, her page is called. I'll also have a link down in the description. Um, and I will, from here on out, I will always have her link in my description. So if at any time you guys, you know, if you don't have time to do it now and you think of it later, like, oh shoot, I want to check that out. Pull up any of my videos from like here on out and it'll be down in the description of her link for her Etsy account. So please go check her out. Um, follow her page. Maybe like a few of the items that she has. Or if you could, um, maybe make a purchase. Be her first purchase that she's gotten. She'll, she'll be so excited. Let's just wrap it up here and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!